In today's video, we're going to be showing you guys some easy entry points for wildlife that they like to use to get into some of these houses and commercial properties. As you can tell there, that roof angle is where the two planes meet. That's right through the soffit, which leads directly to your attic space. Uh, we have other ways of entry like this uh, ridge vent right here. Uh, without our screening and our one-way door there, as you can tell, we developed a mechanism there called an exclusion door. It's the correct term in the wildlife industry. This allows the wildlife within the structure to exit like it's already doing every night to get a food and water source. But when it comes back, you'll see here in this video, this little guy won't be able to get back in. Uh, he'll then look for other access points on this property, which we will be crit critter proofing the home, which wouldn't allow this animal to get back into this home in any entry point possible. It's protecting the investment and increasing property value. But nonetheless, why I'm showing you that and why I'm explaining that to you is because, to make the long story short, this ridge vent is easy access directly to your attic space. Raccoons, possums, squirrels, flying squirrels, bats, rats, mice, you name it, especially here in Florida, um, wildlife love to enter into these different access points, into soffits, so on and so forth. And we're going to show you guys what exactly to look for while out in the field doing your inspections. For signs of wildlife chewing, gnawing, feces, tracking, highways, uh, tunneling, so on and so forth, we want to make sure that we are um, protecting these, these, these buyers and protecting these sellers when they want to sell their properties and whatnot. Reason being is you go out there for one, for one purpose, for being able to see if a house is going to pass inspection. And if it's not, to try to educate the buyer or the seller on what they would have to do in order to sell this property. You don't want to miss anything. Otherwise, you'll end up getting a bad review, a very angry customer, and it's dishonest. So we want to show you guys today some ways of seeing activity from wildlife around the home and also showing you guys once again some of these entry points that make it into the properties. Uh, we've already gone over in some other videos some health hazards, the property damage, so on and so forth of having wildlife in your home. I mean, a compromised attic space, guys, can literally cost the home, the new homeowner now or the seller between $4,500 to $15,000 or more, depending on the size of the attic space. And that's just because of compromised insulation. That's not including wire. Uh, wires that are chewed through the attic space for lighting and other electrical, uh, gas lines, so on and so forth. I mean, tearing up AC ductwork to destroying the blower motors that we have in our AC units up in our attic spaces. It could just be a nightmare. This here is bat guano uh, on a dock that we had to work on. A bunch of feces all over the place. We found it right here through this access points. Uh, they were just roosting up there in the shaded area. Uh, this here is from gnawing and chewing from rats and squirrels on a roof. Uh, this is right by a roof angle. This is underneath a mobile home that we worked on. It's a rat shoot right through the plywood, as you can tell. Uh, we got wood rats out here in Florida. Roof rats right there. You see access to the sophic structures for bats, rats, and mice. Here you can see a squirrel and a rat. Um, both were actually making their way into that building. We had to exclude both of them. That's an access point for a bat. That's uh, feces from rats and disturbed insulation within the structure. Right here, uh, you see a ridge cap, easy access again to your attic space. Gotta make sure we seal those off. That white vent there is a J vent. You see some shadowed area right there in the back. That's a uh, roof angle. Uh, access points to your attic space. This is a uh, attic that was compromised by rats. You have more um, entry points here. I'm gonna make sure we seal off all entry points. There's a tunnel right there that's made. You see a lot of this tunneling in attic spaces that are compromised by squirrels, rats, and mice. That's a Stanley Hatchery Resort. That is a big bat job. Um, anywhere where you can fit a number two pencil, a bat can get in, um, roaches, so on and so forth, termites, spiders, you name it, unwanted pests, lizards out here in Florida. Um, here you see a soffit that was also torn apart by a raccoon. This is the bottom of an AC chase. That leads right straight to your attic space, a lot of moisture condensation collected within that area. Um, right here we have uh, squirrels tearing themselves through, <laughs> eating through the uh, gutters there, right into the soffit, straight to the attic space, nothing stops them. That's underneath a mobile home, paper barrier that was torn. So as you can tell, this is just a few different examples of what we've had to come across uh, in the field. And by the way, those photos are all photos from new houses that were sold that passed inspection. It's shocking the way that this industry works. We wanna make sure here at Internachi that we are growing a community of honest inspectors that give Internachi a good name and themselves good names. All we want to have in this industry, guys, is a good review, good relationship, build rapport, and be relevant in the industry. Make sure that you guys are thorough with your next inspection. We'll see you out in the field. Be safe and have a great day.